you know, being a woman in business, you're going to often get hit on or approached by men and or women. And so people say, what do you, what do you do in that situation? I think it starts with a personal standard. You know, I've decided that I wasn't going to climb the ladder laying on my back. And so I've made a very deliberate choice in how intimate I allow particular relationships to become. So case in point, I was out the other night working on closing a deal. It was for dinner and drinks at about eight o'clock, which is a little bit later than I typically would start something like that with a person who I don't have any experience with. So we had drinks at the first place, moved next door, had you know dinner at the next place, and then was invited to come up to um, a private quarters. And at that point, I said, you know what? It's getting really late. You know, we've been here two and a half hours. I'll follow up with you. I'd love to do business with you. Called the valet and jumped in my car. You are going to get hit on. There's a couple rules that I tell some of the younger women who work with us and or women that I mentor. If it's someone you don't know and you're not exactly sure what type of business they're talking about, take the breakfast meeting, take a lunch meeting, take an early afternoon five, six, seven o'clock meeting. Don't take a dinner meeting with a gentleman who's given you that or a woman who's given you that uh, feeling that there may be something um, disingenuous is not business about their approach to you. So limit when you meet that person, where you meet that person. And if it's really business, I mean, if you're the leader of an organization, you probably have the experience to deal with that. If you're a junior in an organization and the leader of another organization is asking you out for dinner, then you need to invite the boss or you need to understand that it's probably not all about business because typically leader to leader would be making those type of decisions. I can remember one of the women who worked for us, um, coming back, we were at an event, <laughs> we were at an event one day and she goes, this gentleman just asked me out for dinner and I know the man and we've worked together for many years. I said, ask you out for dinner for what? He's married and so are you. She goes, no, he just said he wanted to talk business, talk shop. So why would he, and this is the, what I really wanted her to think about, not because of me, but in the future, why would the leader of this organization want to work with or take to dinner the lowest paid junior assistant of an organization if he was really there to talk about business? So what she did is she ended up reaching back out to him because you don't want to be rude. You don't want to leave a bad taste. You want to keep bridges open. She reached back out to them and said, look, I'm not available for dinner, but I'd love to meet you. Let's have breakfast at 7.30 or 8 o'clock or 8.30, and that meeting never happened. I think the point there, and was made to her and made to me, is this gentleman didn't have good intentions in dealing with you. He was trying to get you to dinner in an evening setting, in a more intimate setting, and that's just not appropriate. You can never get back your reputation. If you are known as a woman who lays on her back to get her work, you will always be known as that, and there's a ceiling to how high you can rise.